It's not a flimsy pizza either. It's a. It's not flimsy. See. Hello, everybody. It's Anna, and welcome to our Valentine's Day dinner together. Today, we are doing a collab. Well, I am doing a collab. I'm doing a collab with Sarah Jane's Journey, Mukbang Mama, and Mukbang Na Nana. <laughs> Hopefully, I said that right. If I didn't, I apologize. And we are all doing like a little Valentine's Day type of dinner with a healthier style pizza. Yeah, right. It doesn't look healthy, right? And for dessert, we have two ingredient pancakes, banana and egg pancake, heart shaped. It's just so cute, right? Cheese. Anyway, and of course, because it's date night, I have some Merlot. Yes. So, let's get started. Make sure you go and uh, check out my description for, oh my god, my shirt's hauling off. What kind of date is this? Let, let me adjust myself for our date. Okay. Make sure you go below in my description and check out Sarah Jane's Journey's channel, Mukban Mama's channel, and Mukban Nana's channel. They are also doing the collab, so go check them out. Let's get started. So the kind of pizza I'm having is just a uh, homemade, well it's not homemade crust because I pre-bought the crust, <laughs> but then I put turkey, turkey pepperoni, mushrooms, and then crumbling Spanish cheese, queso fresco I think it's called, and mozzarella. Because Wendy's Eating Channel used the fr uh, queso fresco. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good. Mmm. I like that it's not greasy. Let's get some sriracha action. Sriracha accent. I mean, accent. Sriracha action. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I know this is up a couple of days before Valentine's Day. Do you guys have any big plans? What do I do on Valentine's Day? This. I eat junk food and I relax because I'm a single lady, you know? See so if you know anybody who's looking and they're hot, tall and handsome, just let me know, okay? Just joking. <laughs> but for real, I'll probably do a collab on Valentine's Day. I mean, not a collab, a video on Valentine's Day. And I plan to um, just eat. What Colton likes chicken nuggets. Because he's going to be my little Valentine's date. What about you guys? What are you going to do? Mm. For all the single people in the audience, do you guys get sad on Valentine's Day or emotional? Not me. I don't care. I ain't going to share my bed with nobody. When I say that, I flop all over my bed when I'm sleeping, so good luck to anybody who I may date in the future, because I'm so used to sleeping alone that I uh, just take up the entire queen bed. Mmm. Turkey pepperoni is the best, you guys. Mmm. It has like 60% less calories, first of all. It tastes just as good. And um, my son can eat it. It's not spicy like regular pepperoni, even though some people think it is, but my son likes it. You know how Merlot is really dry? Merlot is generally really dry. I just splash a dab of like apple juice in there. Tastes so much better. <laughs> Cause I'm a sweet wine fan, but I just happen to have Merlot, so. <laughs> Because I have such a headache. After I eat this pizza, I'm gonna go sleep. Colton um 
you could see that I cut out a couple pieces for Colton. Um, or one big piece, I should say. And that one didn't have any mushrooms on it because he will not eat mushrooms. Mm. What are you eating with me today? Hmm? I have nothing really to say about Valentine's Day because I have never even had a guy give me flowers. Like, <laughs> let alone been on like an official date or anything like I've never gone on a date so if anyone takes me on a date in the future I'll be like yeah what am I supposed to do <laughs> sit here and look nice <laughs> mm. oh my god I'm so tired you guys if you guys are wondering about my shirt the shirt itself is like see-through. No, you can't see my boobs. They're covered up by a tank top. Don't worry. But like the shirt itself is like see-through. See? And then I wear like a tank top under it. Or you can wear, if you want to not be see-through like this, you can wear like a long black, like a black <laughs> t-shirt. Speaking of my Valentine, I think Colton will like to come say hi. You coming? Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, my Valentine in all his glory. Say happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Valentine's Day. Is your pizza good? <laughs> what are you going to do on Valentine's Day? Are you taking Valentine's for your friends at school? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what we're giving them? Um, cupcakes. Uh, you want to show them your shirt too? He hurt me. You're not supposed to hurt me on Valentine's Day. Even though it's not Valentine's Day yet, so I guess he gets a pass, right? Mm. Am I talking too much? Am I eating too slow? What am I doing? Oh my God. What if he thinks I'm boring? What if I am boring? Is my hair okay? Is my eyes okay? Do I need to go to the powder room and get some blush on? See, these are all questions that I don't have to worry about because I don't go on dates. Mm. <laughs> but maybe I should be more proper because technically you could be watching this on Valentine's Day and I could be your date. Let me know if you want me to be your date for Valentine's Day in the comments below, okay? <laughs> mm. It's so good. Like, there is like a layer of marinara sauce, but just a little bit. And then I put a tiny sprinkling of mozzarella cheese. Then I put my turkey um, pepperoni and my mushrooms and some more uh, mozzarella and then the queso fresco. Oh, it's so good. And it's not greasy. I like that. It's dry. See? It's not a flimsy pizza either. It's a... It's not flimsy. See? Mmm. So if anyone wants to come over, they still have pizza left. <laughs> um, so get this. This is so funny. So I made my pizza, right? This is the queso fresco. I made my pizza. I got it out of the oven. That's fine. I get it on my nice, cute, fancy plate. And I start carrying over to my little spot where I record. And I'm like, oh my god. I have nothing to cut my pizza with. I don't have a pizza cutter because I never make pizza. I hardly ever eat pizza. As you can see in my videos, I hardly ever eat like like greasier stuff like that even though this is nice homemade so <laughs> anyway I was like what the heck am I gonna sit here and cut it with the scissors <laughs> so I got like this big old butcher knife out and cut that's why my pieces are all uh, janky <laughs> I just cut it <laughs> it was so funny to me Mm. 
And just so you guys know, when these videos go up, I will actually be eating, because we're pre-recording the video and posting it on today, when you're seeing it, the And I will be actually eating out with my sister for her birthday, so if you guys could wish her a happy birthday, that would be awesome. You don't have to comment below, you can just wish it in your head. <laughs> and so I won't be able to see your comments right away, but I'm so excited to see Sarah's collab with me, and also Mukbang Mamas and Mukbang Nana, what they're going to do with their pizzas. So don't forget to go check them out, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to them. And if you're coming from their channel, hello, my name is Anna. I'm not always crazy, I promise. Subscribe to me too. <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm extra crazy today. Oh my God, I got pizza crust in my wine. Look, you see that? Oh, that's gross. I can't deal with chunks of my wine, people. I can't deal with chunky orange juice. I can't deal with, like, I can't share with Colton things like drinking because he backwashes. And sorry if you're eating, but I can't stand, I can't have chunks of my stuff. Oh, that's delicious. Rant over. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's so I feel like I'm. Mm. Mm. You know, most my mama lives in California. I'm a little jealous of that. I want to live in California. That's all the pizza I can handle, people. Here you go. There's half of a pizza left. Made with love by Anna. Let's move on to dessert. And let me tell you. Mm, let me just share this story for you. You see one pancake here, right? Okay. I actually made enough for like 10 to 12 pancakes. But these banana egg pancakes are no joke. They look, they look so freaking easy, right? Maybe it's because I don't have a non-stick pan. But everything burns and fell apart. And even this one, you can tell I molded it back together just to make a heart. And then I cut it with a cookie cutter. Oh my god. Epic fail, you guys. Y'all are lucky I got something on the plate. It was like chopped champions in my freaking kitchen. I was like, oh my god, I gotta get something on the plate. This is what I have. It's not mega cute, but let's try it. This is two ingredient pancake. Oh God, that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks all burnt and stuff. Mmm. Wanna try it, baby? It actually doesn't taste bad. It kind of tastes like a banana muffin. Not bad. I burnt the rest of them, so Colton's gonna have to try this one. I coming. Come here, you wanna try? I coming. I coming. I coming. Sarah and I want to do, you know, the cauliflower crust pizza, the special uh, healthy uh, pancakes, and I was a total epic disaster, obviously. I eat it off my shelf. Come here. I eat <laughs> Right, you are ready to try? You can just bite it. What do you think? You like it? Uh, that's a not like. <laughs> Whoops. I won't be making those for Colton. Look, they're utter, utter disaster. Let me just be honest. But don't taste bad to me. Mm. I just like cut my strawberries up real nice. I know I just shoved food in my mouth. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Mm. 
Would you guys like some pancake? Look, it's already falling apart. I'm surprised they stay together. Have some pancake. Mmm, delicious, right? I'm using Colton's little spoon. Mmm. <laughs> It actually is pretty good tasting. And I really don't like bananas, but it kind of tastes like, like I said, banana muffin or something. And the only thing I put in it is banana. Hey everybody, my video decided to cut, cut out, but I was pretty much done anyway. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye!